Hi there everyone and welcome to another tutorial by ECTA. Today we're going to look at making a DIY vintage centerpiece without the use of commercially bought flowers. We're going to look at using your garden things like rosemary, um, just normal herbs and flowers and then also how to make a paper vintage rose or flower that you can put as part of your centerpiece. Okay, so first part we're going to look at our paper flower. So a few things we're going to need. Um, first of all we need old books papers. So really a very very old books papers. So this is an example. You can see it's already a little bit yellowed and brown. Now not everyone has access to old books that they can just tear apart and use. So if you want to make your own it's quite easy. You're just going to take any normal book, you can use music sheets as well, you can with your printer just print out samples of music sheet and you can use that as well. So you're just going to tear a piece of your page out of your book and then over here I've just made some nice strong normal black tea, the stronger the better and what you just want to do is I'm going to press out the excess out of the tea bag and you basically just start washing your paper with your tea and that's gonna really give you that old vintagey look on your paper and you can do it a lot you can do it a little bit it all depends on the effect you want to create so play around a bit and see how it works for you and what type of effects you like. Okay, so you can already see it's starting to look a bit old and what you just want to do now is you just want to let it dry. As soon as it's going to dry, just want to take this one away. These ones I did a little early and you can see how lovely they were from the same book, how lovely and old they look now. Okay, so whether you're using your old books or whether you make your own paper that looks old, it doesn't really matter. And then what you want to do is we're going to make this little flower. So we want to start off by making our petals. So We've got our old paper, we've got our scissors, we have some glue, you can use either these normal clear glue or you can use your wooden cold glue. And then we have some wires, now I'm using florist wire but you can use any type of, um, of wire really. There's no specific size your petals have to be, this again is up to you. And what I'd like to do is, I just have a few pages together otherwise it's going to take forever to cut out our petals and I just fold it a bit and then you just want to cut in a nice rounded way Okay, so there's our petals, just remember to open them up and then cut them in half again on the fold. Okay, so now I've got a lot of little petals I can use. The next step you want to do is to start crumpling each petal up. That's just going to add to the old and vintage look of the flower as well as it's going to just help the leaves or the petals be a little bit more flexible when you start folding your flower. Okay, 
Now you open them up again. It's a little time consuming, but it's worth it at the end. The nice thing about this is it doesn't have to cost an arm and a leg because everyone has access to some old paper or you can just use any old books or books you don't read. You can go buy books at a second hand shop because it doesn't really matter at the end of the day what is typed or written on the pages. It's just the overall look. So now we've got our creased little petals and then we want to start the first one would be your center and we create the center by just rolling up one of the petals so that creates your little center and then using your glue You basically just roll your petal again onto you. And all the way you just use your glue. Okay. It's important to make sure that you overlap them a little bit. You don't want to start exactly where the other one finished. You want to overlap and then roll it up again. You can see my petals are starting to form very nicely. The larger your flower becomes, the easier you'll see where petals are needed. So then you can just start placing the petals really where you see there's a gap. Okay, when you have a few petals left, you can take your 
wire and depending on how thick your wire is sometimes you can just glue it in between but I like to just take it around a little bit but it's nice flexible wire and then I can paste on a few more petals so the wire would be hidden And I'm going to do one more. Remember just to paste down those last few points that are sticking out or is loose. And there I have my little paper flower. <laughs>